being that we're here at EMO 2021, um, automation is very key into the marketplace, Paul, but could you show us what you're demonstrating on this machine? Yeah, so what we've got here is the integration of our uh, on-machine probing systems, tool setting systems, to automate tasks that are required as part of the CNC machining process, whether that's tool setup, uh, workpiece setup, uh, feature verification and process control, uh, adjusting tool offsets automatically. So we've got closed loop machining, which allows people to press a button, walk away, the machines can set themselves, and it allows people in the machine shop to go away and do other things with other machines, more produ other productive things, so it frees up the, the people to do more things around the factory. Uh, automation takes many guises from simply releasing people from being stood next to the machine, having to make measurements and adjustments, to pressing the button, turning the lights out, and walking away for the weekend if you've got a full uh, materials handling robot system in place. I suppose also the other benefits to customers is the repeatability I suppose as well because at the end of the day you can leave this machine to actually uh, you know finish your jobs effectively but it's the repeatability and the accuracy that's very important isn't it? Yeah absolutely what we've got here the, our latest systems we've got on this machine whether it's a tool setting system or the probing system are the most accurate in the market at the moment and they, they allow you to achieve very high levels of precision and accuracy in your CNC machining process, um, which is a strong driver for industry now as we want our products to become more efficient um, over time, less um, waste, less scrap, more sustainable manufacturing. So more precision and accuracy in CNC machining is absolutely key going forward. So looking at it from a, a Renishaw point of view, you know, how important is, is this type of technology for your customers? Increasingly more and more important as, it, as we've recently seen whether you've not been able to get enough people in the factory to run your machines, the ability to let the technology take over and to keep the process under control is going to be vitally important going forward. And we're seeing more and more uh, pushes towards automation. So we hear about reshoring. A lot of the reshoring we see now is, is going to be highly automated and it's going to be cost effective globally, so you've never got to offshore ever again. So we're seeing more and more integration of our technology within the, those sort of exercises, those sort of initiatives to uh, lower the cost of manufacturing. Uh, and what other processes do you have on the stand here to show us? Okay, so it's just not the automation of the CNC machining process. We have other technologies that are allowing uh, automation to a certain extent of final inspection and, and, and the data collection and the analysis uh, at the end of the, the process. Dave, Paul's explained about automation in process measurement, but what are you showing on this CMM? On this CMM, we're showing the Revo multi-sensor family. We have a number of tactile measuring sensors, vision sensors, roughness measurement sensors, all on one platform. So, I mean, obviously some of the parts that you've got here, what, what, what can this probe actually do that uh, maybe it didn't do before? Okay, one I've just uh, omitted from that list is the new ultrasonic probe. The ultrasonic probe allows us to measure thickness. So by measuring the outside of a feature, we can then measure the thickness to determine the inside of that feature and its diameter and form. And how does that sort of work within the, uh, the automation part within Renishaw? What does that, where does all that data go? So all that data is processed and number crunched within our software and then sent over the cloud to Renishaw Central. And I presume that's when we, we take the data and obviously showing how to maximise, let's say, a machining process, measurement process, all the way through the journey of the part. We are, but we're also providing um, traceability. The, the name of a C, the CMM is, is the final say, the traceable results back to a standard. If we don't do that, then you don't get your quality certificate and you don't get the assurance that your plane's going to fall out of the sky. Guy, now data is very important in the process. Um, could you explain to us exactly what we're seeing here? Sure. So what we've got on show here is uh, Renishaw Central, where we're connected to the various pieces of equipment around the stand, be that additive machines, equators, uh, the machine tools and the coordinate measuring machines. The more important bit is we're actually connected to every part of the process chain. So whether or not that's in-process measurement and tool setting on the machine tool, whether or not that's in-line measurement with the equator system, or whether or not that's post-process measurement with the CMM, we're able to track not just 
part measurement, but more importantly, process measurement through every part. And realistically, what, what are the main benefits to a customer by using this system? Well, ultimately, what we're really trying to push people to do is to start tuning that process. So it's starting to understand how can I control it? And that's something that we actually do within Renishaw Central, where we can, we can map metrology or part measurement to actually adjusting the machine tool in process. So we've been doing it for many years inside the machine tool itself. With the equator system over the last few years, we've been doing it but that's part of the embedded system. We've taken it out, we've put it onto a PC or onto a server, and that's allowing customers to say, well actually, how can I take measurements from my coordinate measure machine or, or other devices and actually influence the machine tool itself, adjusting tool offsets or even feeding it back to variables so decisions can be made on the machine. So really maximizing the repeatability and the process. Absolutely, absolutely. What we don't want is bad parts at the end of it. What we want to help people to do is understand how do you adjust the process to ensure that you don't get bad parts. And by doing it based on a lot of history, we're able to give operators far more information to understand what those adjustments have been because basically a machine tool is a goldfish. It doesn't actually remember what it's done the last time. Now, it's quite interesting. When you look at the whole stand, I think your message of Renishaw at EMO 2021 is very much about having complete control of the process. It is, and that's very much in line with automation. You know, as, as everybody's seen around the show, automation is very much on the in increase. So we're not necessarily, we're trying to help operators to be able to make sure that they make the right adjustments to the right machine at the right time.